everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video and today guys I have decided to continue working on the new generation of Monster High dolls you know I actually really love these dolls I'm very happy about this release because these dolls still have very beautiful faces they're all different they all have very unique face molds but their bodies are much better I really like their proportions much more than from the old bodies who were way too skinny like the old dolls had Big, big heads and tiny bodies. These new dolls, you know, they're quite okay. They're actually quite realistic. They have normal human bodies, maybe sometimes a little bit curvier, sometimes more like normal average. I also like that they have extra joint here in their chest area. So they're absolutely beautiful dolls, really very happy about this release, but there are some things that I would make better and first of all, I want to make Laguna Blue blue again, <laughs> really. This is the only thing that I sort of hate about these new dolls. No, hate is still a very strong word for it. But you know, something that I really don't like, something that makes me unhappy. <laughs> I want Laguna Blue to be blue. And this is exactly what we will do today. We will turn the new pink Laguna doll blue. Uh, I hope she will look better. Actually, I'm almost sure she will look better because this pink skin tone just doesn't suit her. I don't know. And also this entire doll, there are too many of different shades of pink combined together in one doll. And I don't think that these pinks all go together. There is a warm pink and cold pink and magenta, bright, light, everything. And it's just too much. And I don't like it. <laughs> so, today we will remake the Laguna Blue doll, we will make her blue, and we will make her more beautiful, I promise you. She will become more beautiful in the end of this video. Uh, and I also want to give her mermaid tail, not the legs. I already experimented one time with this Laguna Blue doll, and I made kind of two-in-one convertible doll. She had her legs, and she, I also made for her a removable tail. Today we'll make something different, today she will have just a tail. So, so, there are lots of things to experiment with in this video, I think we should start. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys, it's very important. Support my art here on YouTube with your likes if you enjoy things that I'm making here. And of course, please don't forget to hit the bell button if you want to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. I upload new videos on Friday, sometimes every week Friday, sometimes every second week Friday. Like today, we will have a lot of drying things. Uh, in my last project also was, I was sculpting the seashell for my goddess Venus. It also took a very long time to dry. So nowadays, probably like this last weeks, there will be new videos every second week Friday. And then we'll see, maybe in April, a couple of weeks, I will be able to upload every week Friday. So these are the plans. And this being said, let's start working, guys. So this is the doll. Please take the very last look at her because very soon all of this will be gone and I will create my own version of Laguna. So let's remove everything she has on to get a clean canvas.
good, everything is gone, so I can start working on her new look. And I will begin with giving her new hair. I've chosen this mix that is called Botanical Nylon. I don't know, to me it looks rather, I don't know, it gives me sea vibes. I think it will be perfect for my mermaid, I don't know, it doesn't give me that much botanical vibes, to be honest. So after covering her head with blue acrylics, I will give her a bunch of this new blue-green-pink hair. This is how it looks after some hours of non-stop rerouting. Check it out, beautiful long mermaid hair, yes. I think it's very pretty and it definitely gives me mermaid vibes, not botanical vibes again, I don't know. Does it give botanical vibes to you? Write it down in the comments, so strange. So, now I can add glue inside of the head. I will let it dry for a couple of days and then I will start working on her new face. Before drawing anything on the doll's face, I must seal it with Mr. Super Clear sealant. And then I can start changing her skin tone from pink to blue, using soft pastels from the brand Pan Pastels. Happy with her new blue skin color, I take watercolor pencils and I start drawing the rest of her face using the sealant between the layers to protect my work. Creating doll faces, you know, it's all about layering.
Good, this is the face, check it out, the difference between the color of her face and her body is very satisfying to me to be honest. I will blush her body a little bit later, but I want to work on her tail first. I want to sculpt the tail around her own legs and I want to keep the joints in her knees and hips at least partially working. So let's try something different today. Normally I just sculpt a new tail as one piece, but today I have an idea in my head, so let's try something. So I begin with cutting off her feet and I also get rid of the fins on her legs. Then I fix the legs together with thermoplastic and then I will sculpt a new tail around her legs using epoxy sculpt. I've already complained <laughs> in my last video where I was making uh, the goddess Venus about prices for epoxy sculpt nowadays, but I just want to rant about it again because come on guys, 85 euro, it has become 85 euro instead of 65. I don't know, I wish my income grew as fast, but no, it doesn't really. Hard life. Things are getting more and more expensive. Like, yeah, it's not a joke. And this is how the tail looks right now, everything is very good, everything works like it should, I'm really happy about it, but I will continue working on it a little bit later and right now I think it's a good moment to blush her body to make it blue as well, as blue as her face. Good, the face and the top of the body look good together, now it's time to go back to her tail and I want to make a tail fin and I will start with making a cut in her tail. The fin I will make out of a piece of see-through plastic and this gorgeous iridescent sticker. I've just used this technique to make Tinkerbell's wings and I thought it would also look great as a mermaid tail. So let's make it before I forgot this technique forever. So I'm putting this sticker to the plastic, cutting out a pair of these fins and then I will paint lines on this plastic with glue and I will sprinkle it all with holographic glitter.
this is what I've made guys Check it out, looks very pretty Now let's glue it inside of this cut in her tail And now guys, I want to experiment Look a doll with this type of a tail and with this type of fins cannot stand on her own. So I want to take a doll stand like this display holder and I will connect it to the doll's tail. I think it will be super pretty, very functional. So let's try and let's see how it looks in real. And yes guys, very good. I think this part worked out perfectly. I really love the combination, the body with the stand. I'm really happy with this construction today. So now I want to cover the sculpted part of her tail with this gorgeous, super sparkly, iridescent glitter. Such a beautiful glitter, really. <laughs> okay, so happy about it. And you know, I will work on my own mistakes today. Some time ago, I made the new Ariel doll, also using glitter for her tail, and the glue wasn't strong enough for this job. I learned it later, when it was already a little bit too late. So, today I will use epoxy resin to attach glitter to the tail made out of epoxy sculpt, and you know, this combination of two epoxies, sculpt and resin, will stay together forever. And this is what I've ended up making. It looks super shiny, very sparkly, amazingly pretty, and it's also very strong, really. So I will use these cute seashells to make a top for my mermaid and I will also decorate them with beads and glitter.
very cute check it out super now I want to work some more on the bottom part of the stand I want to make it look kind of like a sea bottom so I begin with applying a layer of epoxy scalp to the bottom of this stand to make it kind of more natural not that perfect and not that shiny and it will also make the doll stand a little bit heavier yet yeah, will help the balance so the doll will never flip over And then the next day I can paint it all with acrylics, glue some sand, some seashells, sea stars to it, like just to make it all pretty. Yes, I think it looks super cute, really adorable. I absolutely love it. Now it's all becoming more complete, more perfect. And now I think it's time to style her hair. She will have super long wavy hair, of course, like the classic mermaid locks. And this is exactly why I gave her super long hair to make the super long, beautiful locks. Yes, I think her hair looks very pretty, very romantic, very, I don't know, mermaidish. Uh, I want to use a star to decorate her hairstyle and I will use epoxy resin again to attach the pin to it and also to add some glitter.
very cute. Yes, very cute, very happy about this doll so far. All the details are coming really well together. So now let's attach false lashes, add gloss to horizon lips, and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. Here she is guys, my finished Laguna Blue with blue skin tone and you know I love her so much more now than before, really. She looks 300 times better with blue skin than she used to be with pink in the beginning of this video. Now I really love her, really, she's so beautiful right now. I'm very happy with the way this doll stand looks, it was a very good solution for a mermaid doll. I'm very happy about this construction and you know I think I should work some more in this direction. And her super sparkly tail is just my love, <laughs> really so pretty, it's a very pretty glitter, really, it looks simply amazing. I also love her hair, I still don't understand why it was a botanical mix, but whatever. Do you see it as a botanical, guys? I don't know, again, let me know your vision of it in the comments, and also please let me know what you think about my new Laguna Blue doll. Do you prefer her with blue or with pink skin tone? Please let me know in the comments. I hope the answer will be blue, of course, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just curious about your opinion. So you can disagree with me if you want to. So please let me know your thoughts in the comments under this video. And if you want to buy this doll, you can find her on eBay for three days. The link is in the description box under this video. So guys, and that was it. That was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please, of course, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon, probably in two weeks on Friday, but not sure, maybe next week, but no, I think it's, it will be in two weeks. So, and now, have a nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye.